Hey everyone, the Twitter poll was tied between Timescale and Postgres. I decided to make the video on how to install Timescale DB 2.0 on Kubernetes. We will be installing their multi-node offering on my DigitalOcean managed Kubernetes. So first, let's start by talking about prerequisites. You're obviously going to need a Kubernetes cluster. And then locally, you'll also need Helm. I'm on 3.4. Obviously, you're also going to need kubectl. So assuming you have everything, go to the Timescale DB Kubernetes GitHub repo. First thing we're going to do is clone this repo. I am going to clone it into the Timescale folder. First thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into there. I know this is a little small, hopefully you can see it. I am going to delete everything I don't need. So I need the, the timescale DB multi-node chart. I'm going to pull that out, delete everything else. Now we will go back into terminal, open this folder in VS Code. From here, we'll go into the new charts folder, go into values, and change some of the values. First, we're going to use a different repo. You will need to use this repo if you want to use the multi-node offering. Keep in mind, this comes with the timescale license, not the Apache license. I'm not going to go too much into that, but just a heads up. And we're going to use this tag. We'll have three data nodes, and we'll keep all the other values the same. Now what we're going to do is go in here, save it first, and at the root, create a new file called pgpass. I will generate a random password for this. And then we will create another one. That is the admin user. Generate another password. Once that's done, we're going to actually go edit one of the templates. I'm going to go into the service template for the access node. And I'm going to change this from a load balancer to a cluster IP. This is just because I don't want it to be accessible from outside of the cluster. I will show you how you can do that temporarily to run migrations or just to take a look. But I don't want to create a load balancer. Once that's done, we'll go back into the terminal. And we will install Timescale DB using Helm. To do that, I'm just going to paste in this command so we're going to helm install name of our deployment is going to be timescale db charts is the folder where our helm charts are namespace for me is going to be timescale dash db and then here we will set the credentials for the access node super user and the data node for that we're going to go back into my pg pass file and copy these in the access node is going to be the admin user and the data node is going to be Postgres. We'll post that, paste that in. We'll hit enter, and in a few seconds, we'll see that it's been installed, and we'll get a message. So I will go into Rancher and make sure that it's actually been installed. All right. So if we go in here, we should see the access node seems to be running. Let's go to logs. seeing connection authorized and it looks like all three data nodes are also running so congratulations that's pretty easy we got timescale db set up now that timescale db is running in your cluster let me show you how to actually access it from your local machine to do that go into terminal and we will save the the password for the access node as pgpass using this command. Basically what it's doing is it's looking at the secret that Helm created and saving the password from there. We will echo it out to make sure it's the same password. Yes, looks good. Now we need to get the timescale db's access nodes pod name. 
Again, we have a kubectl command for that. Let's do a sanity check by echoing it out. Perfect. That looks about right. If we go into Rancher, we will see that it's the same name. So if I go in here, yep, same name. Good. Now we can do a port forward. To do that, we'll just port forward the access pod and I will port forward 5432 to 7000. You could do whatever port you wanted. Now that the port is being forwarded, I will go into Postico and connect to it. To do that, I'll just call it timescale db. You can use whatever tool you're using, obviously. For the port, I'll use the port that I selected. User Postgres. And the password we'll get from here. And we'll hit connect. See if it connects. All right. So now you're connected. You can, you know, use Postico to edit the data, look at the data, whatever. The last thing I want to show you is how to run PSQL directly on the node. So to do that, first, I'm in a different session. So save the PG pass and the access node. And then we will run kubectl exec. So that's it. In this video, I went through installing timescale DB using Helm, made some changes, and I showed you how to access it locally. Let me know if this was helpful, if you have any questions, and let me know if you want to see any other videos in the future.